Sencha XJS includes rich grids that make high-performance big data grids perform with ease across a large and diverse set of browsers. Using XJS, virtually unlimited sets of data can be rendered in the browser. For this demonstration, we'll use an API that returns records from Sencha's forums. The sample dataset contains almost 7,000 records. Here we have a demo app that uses a grid to render each of these records. We'll start off without any buffering, so as to get a baseline. I've configured the store to load up to 10,000 records all at once. If we run that in the browser, it'll take a few seconds to load the data and render the grid. Let's use the Network Inspector to get a sense of what's happening here. We've made a single request to the API, which takes over a second to serve a response that weighs in at about 300 kilobytes. The grid contains a row for every record in the dataset, which creates a pretty hefty DOM. As a crude measure, let's get all of the tags from the document and count them. In this case, we've created a DOM with over 240,000 nodes. When I scroll horizontally and vertically, there's a perceptible lag as my browser struggles to handle such a large document. In this grid, I've enabled the grouping feature. If we attempt to group rows together by author, we have to wait several seconds as the browser redraws the entire grid. The Buffered Renderer plugin was introduced in XJS 4.2. This allows us to use the grid component for a large dataset without suffering any performance penalties. To enable it, we only need to add a single line of configuration to our grid component. We'll save that and refresh the page. On the surface, it doesn't look any different. Just as before, our app has made a single request that fetches all 7,000 rows at once. So there's no improvement there. But if we count the number of nodes in the DOM, we'll see that it's been cut from 240,000 down to around 2,000. And that's about two orders of magnitude smaller. Now, watch what happens as I scroll the grid horizontally and vertically. It feels much more responsive than it did before. There's a lot going on under the hood to create this appearance. As new records scroll into view, their table rows are created dynamically. The rows that scroll out of sight are destroyed to free up resources. As a result, the number of items in the DOM remains constant. Note that it's still possible to scroll by clicking and dragging the scroll bar. The grid is updated to always show the records for the visible region. If we tell the grid to group records by name, the result is instantaneous. The Buffered Renderer plugin works seamlessly with all of the features of the grid component. The Buffered Renderer improves performance by streamlining the DOM, but we're still working with a large dataset. In some circumstances, it would be preferable to break the dataset into small chunks, requesting them from the API only when they are needed. And that's where the Buffered Store comes in. This feature was introduced in XJS 4.1. We can enable this feature by setting the buffered property on our store to true. Let's also take the page size down from 10,000 to 100. Let's see how that looks in the browser. This time, instead of retrieving the entire data set, our app makes three separate requests for subsets of the data. Note that each of these requests returns in under half a second, and the payload is only six kilobytes. Previously, when we fetched the entire dataset, it weighed in at 300 kilobytes and took over a second to load. The records that we can see in the grid all come from the initial request. The subsequent pages of data are prefetched and cached locally so that we can scroll the grid without perceiving the latency of hitting the network. As I scroll the grid, the buffered store makes requests in the background so as to always have a page or so of data either side of the visible region. If I grab the scroll bar and move to somewhere distant, we'll briefly see a loading mask as the store fetches the appropriate pages of data. As before, 
The grid uses a buffered renderer, which keeps the DOM as light as can be. In XJS 4.1, the buffered store was the only choice for displaying large datasets in a grid without pagination. But in 4.2, we now also have the simpler option of using the buffered renderer. The new buffered renderer makes displaying massive datasets easy and performant.